<clears throat> all right, Shalom Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Akakwadash. All right, double honors to the apostles, elders of Great Millstone, who are the true apostles, elders of all Israel. All right, and uh, this is the brother Yahweh Sap with another lesson. And um, basically, today, just going to be going in on um, something simple, something, uh, you know, kind of a basic thing that, you know, I feel. Uh, myself needs to be reminded of and i just wanted to put it in the lesson and just in case any other brother feels the same way <coughs> all right because you know there's things that we go through day in and day out there's things that uh, we tend to forget you know we forget a lot of things throughout the day throughout the week throughout the month um, and it's just important to remember that uh, the reason why we are doing this and the reason why we are um following after the how bashim al to the best of our ability is to obtain that salvation and to escape from that judgment and to please the lord you know and that's something that we must continue continue to remind ourselves of uh even when times get hard and even when times are easy you know it's just we we want to strive to be better in this truth uh be a better be a better man unto our family better uh, brother unto the unto the akiyam and a better prophet unto the lord you know, so that's just something that um, me, myself, uh, has I've been meditating upon lately. Um, and if any other brother feels this way, you know, I pray um, that the Lord increases you. And I pray that the Lord uh, continues to um, guide you down the path of righteousness as well as myself. And I pray that we, whoever, you know, the brothers who are serving in this ministry, I hope, I pray that we all get on that chariot and are able to um, drink wine with the Awashai and escape from these missiles, man, because judgment is coming upon the earth, man. Judgment is coming and mass death and destruction is coming, man. And the Lord, <clears throat> the Lord is not playing games with Jake anymore, man. And you see it, you see it happening. Um, right now you have these riots, right? You have Esau trying to implement this HR uh, six 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 six. You have um, you have the FBI looking into the riots and uh, going and arresting the people uh, who bragged about looting and stuff, man. And uh, all hell is breaking loose, and it's all according to prophecy, man. And we, and what we must remember um, is that as long as we are serving the Lord, uh, He will save us out of it. You know, but in order to say, in order to um, serve the Lord, man, you have to make sure that you're not reforming back to the old ways, uh, you know, reforming back to being a nigga, reforming back to being uh, of a carnal mindset. You know, and that's something that I just want to um, point out and just to remind not only myself, but anyone else, you know, any other brother or sister who feels this way. All right, so I want to go ahead and get it started. This is going to be the book of Romans chapter 6 and verse 5, and it reads, For if we have been planted together in the likeliness of his death, we shall also in the likeliness of his resurrection. That's right, so Yahweh, when he died, he put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal. All right, so verse 6, it says, Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not uh, serve sin. All right, so um, I'm going to read it again. So uh, Romans five and uh, Romans 6 and 6, it says, Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. That's right. So the our, our old man is crucified with him, and that old man, um, it consists of uh, you know the sin committing committing all acts of wickedness, whether that be adultery, whether that be, um, whether that be uh, stealing, you know, or uh, anything else that tends to happen, you know, that we do. Um, that's that's something that we're putting that we're putting off, man. You know, um, and that's something that we must continue to do and continue to remember, because uh, if you don't have a lot of time with a brother, or if you seem if you're always alone, um, it's hard, man. It it gets hard to follow the Lord, not because you don't want to, but because you're constantly surrounded by carnal thoughts. You're constantly surrounded by carnal people. You know, and demons tend to hop on you more than more than usual, more than it would another brother. You know, so that's something that you want to keep in mind is just whenever you're going through your everyday walk of life, um, just try to remember that, hey, man, you know, the Lord is, 
you know, you're not trying to please any brother or any sister. You're trying to please the Lord, you know, so don't do don't be in this ministry to be seen of men, um, but to be seen of the Lord. All right. And just real quick, I want to go ahead and get into this. Um, that word old. <clears throat> so lucky I didn't have it pulled up in here. All right. So that word, that word old. Uh, Peliosos, it says ancient, no longer new, worn by use, the worse for wear, old. That's right, the worse for wear. So being of a carnal mindset is the worse for wear, you know, because being of that mindset will get you killed. Being of a carnal mindset will make you do and uh, make you do and commit acts of just wickedness. And that's something that we are straining from ourselves is to put on the immortal clothing. All right, because it tells you in First uh, uh, Corinthians fifteen that um, that this uh, the mortal can uh, the the here. Let's go ahead and get it. So I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be the book of uh, where's it? Where's it? First Corinthians fifteen verse uh, fifty. And it says, uh, now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of Yahweh, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. That's right. So in, incorruption cannot inherit, uh, incorruption cannot, corruption cannot inherit incorruption. Okay. The meaning, meaning that flesh and blood cannot enter, enter into that kingdom because the flesh and blood is, um, is sin. You know, it's carnal. The flesh is carnal. You know, and the kingdom that is coming is going to be spiritual. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be here on earth. And but in order, but in order to be immortal, and in order to continue to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahushai without sinning, you're going to be putting off that mortal clothing and be putting on that immortal clothing, which you're going to be straight spirit from that point. You know, so that's uh, something that we are striving for in this truth, um, and something that we pray that um, happens unto us. Okay, so from there. Um, this is going to be the Roman, the book of Romans once again, uh, verse six, and continuing it to verse seven, it says, "For he that is dead is freed from sin." Now, if we be, be dead in the Mashiach, we believe that we shall also live with live with him. That's right, and it, it doesn't mean literally dead, right? It means dead with this carnal mindset, right? Because whenever Yahweh died, his spirit didn't die, but his flesh did. His flesh died, all right, and he was freed from that flesh and created became a spirit. You know, and a, one of the, the spirit that is second in command, you know. So once we die, we put off this mortal clothing and we're putting on that immortal clothing. We're now living with Yahweh Shai because we are coming unto the fountains of living water. Okay, so it says, verse 9, knowing that Hamashiach being raised from the dead dieth no more. Death had no more dominion over him. That's right. Uh, so real quick, uh, let's get back to the book of First Corinthians 15. And I want to I want to jump down to a certain verse. All right. So it says, um, I'm gonna start at Second uh, First Corinthians 15 and verse uh, 54. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written: Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. That's right. And and so that with that being said, once we put on this immortal clothing and we're changed, um, we're no longer able to to sin. And that's something that we're striving for by putting. And first and foremost, what is it? What does it come through by the renewing of your spirit by putting off that old man? All right. So continuing it. So it says. Uh, Romans 6 and verse um, verse 10, it says, For in that he died, he died unto sin once, but in that he liveth, he liveth unto Yahweh. Likewise reckon ye also your, you, yourselves to be to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto Yahweh through Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach our Lord. Let not sin reign therefore in your mortal body, that ye should obey it in the lust thereof. That's right, so it's important that you meditate upon these things day in and day out. That way you can avoid sin as much as possible. Because right now, of course, we are going to sin where it's inevitable. We're in the flesh. But we want to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahushua to the best of our ability. And in that, through it, we are made perfect. All right. 
excuse me. So it says, uh, verse 13, neither yield ye uh, your members as instruments of right unrighteousness unto sin, but yield ye <clears throat> yourselves unto Yahweh as those that are alive from the dead, and your members are as instruments of righteousness unto Yahweh. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. All right. So that's right. So we um, we are putting on the old man and putting on this new man. Okay. So from there, I want to go ahead and get this. It's going to be the book um, of Ephesians chapter 6. And uh, let me see exactly what, sir, what, what it starts at. So this is uh, Ephesians 6 and verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in Yahweh and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against power, principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh that you may be able to withstand in the in the evil day and the uh, and having done all to stand that's right so the the power of yahweh the the armor of yahweh which is about to go into it that's what we must put on all right because otherwise we won't be able to we won't be able to uh stand against it man all right and it's only it's only because we are serving yahweh Bashim Shai that we are not subject uh to satan's devices all right we are not uh ignorant of satan's devices okay so it says, verse 14, stand therefore, having your loins girt about, about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet sh uh, shod with the preparation of, of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, where, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of Yahweh. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all pers perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, the utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. All right. So that's right. So we put on this armor to be to be able to withstand everything that is thrown at us. That's why uh, at camp, whenever um, brothers come up again, whenever anyone comes up against the brothers, you know, um, they are uh, shot down because we have the whole armor of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai upon us. We have the strongest shield, we have the strongest sword, we have the strongest uh, armor that is upon us. Okay, and that's through um, putting on this new man, which is uh, the renewing of our spirit, and through that we are made holy and acceptable sacrifices unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right, and no one can stand against us, and no one can defeat us because we have a Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai on our side. Okay, and that's through putting off that old man, you know, and putting on that new man, no longer giving ourselves over to lust and to and to supplications of this world, you know, uh, such as the acts of wickedness, which I always point this out, which is adultery, you know, stealing, murdering, um, uh, lying, you know, unto everyone to get what you want. So it's just something that I wanted to point out. Didn't want to make this lesson too long, but spirit has it how it has it. Lord of willing, this lesson was edifying unto the nation of Israel and unto the, the, house of the, the, the house of David. And with that being said, once again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakudash. All right, until the next time I say, Shalom.